Alright, this is Rikishin668 of the PS4 and B234 of the Steam community. I would like to say hello and welcome. As you can tell, I have a bunch of stuff. And now, I need to make something fun. Good morning! Even though it's afternoon. Wait a minute, can I hold it and he just waves? Sweet. I guess it doesn't work, but that's okay. Alright. Well, to hit it off, um That's one of something one of my one of my friends built here. I thought it was pretty damn cool. It's very odd with the new spaceball update, but you know, you can't have too much fun. You can't have a lot of fun, but you can get it just right. I think they hit they scored that one with me. I thought that was just perfect. Anyways, I have a few things, a couple ships to show you, and maybe a few mods. That is the huge Gatling gun, followed by the flak cannons for tank. For the tanks, as you can tell, you got your standard uh, run, you know, standard Gatling guns with their. Uh, Main, the main cargo containers. I wish they would hold more, actually. Anyways, to get to the fun of this, this is my OSS Destroyer Class 4. Quite a large ship. Granted, it's unfinished. But, the cool part is, once it's finished, it will be it'll probably go on Steam Workshop, granted it does have mods, but you need the the heavy reinforced armor because that's one of the armors I actually play with a lot. Anyways, as you can tell that's gonna be there's gonna be quite some odd ends to do. Especially with this, but uh this whole entire compartment will depressurize. And then I have a second set of airtight doors. You're gonna go right here, see? Look how pretty it is. Okay, there's the entire conveyor system. There are your refineries with the assemblers. That one got locked. Wait a minute. Oh no. Maybe a little too many batteries on this thing. That works just as well. So eventually, the cockpit I think is actually going to go up through here. And I'm going to be squaring this off for something else, I guess. Maybe another something. And there's a 50mm autocannon. I actually like how it is. Then there is the turret I so happily just decided to build. And I think might have done that camera wrong. Honestly, because it is not sitting. Technically it has to sit upside down for the controls to work properly. Which is always a fun thing to do. Oh, uh, is it... Are these, are these deciding not to work today or something? Hmm. Oh, I better give it a good try real quick. Just gonna show you what I build. On uh, sometimes maybe a weekly basis. Or every couple weeks. Maybe a couple days. Time to fly. Oh, so they are on, they're just not showing them on. Not exactly the fastest ship in the Space Engineers universe. But, uh, 34,768,120, uh, kilogram. 
it's pretty worth it. There we go. So eventually, I will probably be putting this ready for like a, a main, uh, you know, resource ship or something. And when I have it completed, the blueprints will be on the Steam Workshop community. Um, if you don't have certain mods or don't like playing with mods, you're going to have to look up um, slight fairly large uh, you know amount of mods because I like using certain mods and for my actual fun ship that I had fun with uh, when I first really started getting into it fine you know after a long period of time just kind of being uh, just kind of like overwhelmed as to how this would work and here you go a couple people from work actually from where I live uh, wanted to actually see the ship well I got three right here I have four up from here. I, let's maybe go ahead and close this. Oh, it's number two. What a surprise. This is... I build frigates more often than anything. I'm more of a large ship with... Uh, long, you know, more of the long hole set in. I guess I can go ahead and pressurize this. Not ro not have to uh, worry about it too much. This way I can get some air in here. Right now the oxygen is low, and yes, it will take a little bit for that to uh, kind of finish up. So there's a lot to this ship that quite a few people don't realize. Even though it's an empty box on that term doesn't mean you know, hey, this is not going to work at all. Well, that would should be kind of nice. And then, after the last couple updates, uh, I've been kind of having a little more fun bits and pieces building certain ships and I normally use uh, Sage's industrial thrusters because they kind of they suit the style that I like for building large ships so we run over up here up and over actually and well Here's the odd part. This did not save at all. I was going to do something. I must have forgot to do it, but there is supposed to be an airlock inside right here. And right after that, I was going to have something up here. Like probably maybe a small living quarters for the pilots upstairs to keep away from the crew so that because they might not get along who knows but this specifically is actually a it's a fairly large frigate that I built and it's gonna be a little grilling to fly because 
well, it's a heavy ship. Let's see. At 72,095,760 kilogram, yeah, you know you're going to be busting out some serious power. But that's what the extremely heavy uh, like weapons, engines, uh, thrusters, you got the turrets, the two uh, 25 centimeter flat guns up front, or the auto cannons, and they do quite a bit. And this isn't exactly the sort of ship that would, you know, it might because of the way it's built, but other than that, it's, you know, to me, I think it's the, probably one of the better ships I think I've ever built in my life from uh, Space Engineers. So as you can tell, there's the cockpit. Um, I'll probably be putting this on the Steam community eventually. Just kind of, I'm still working quirks out. Granted, it does not like to slow down sometimes, and sometimes it will. And so far, it slowed down really fast for me. So, uh, the way it accelerates, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, Sage Industrial Thrusters to Azumith. Uh, Azumith? Azimuth? thrusters in back and I have one sage thruster uh, industrial thruster uh, turned around because it's going to help with the uh, retro uh, the uh, retro burns and whatnot for slowing down and there's the azimuth thruster uh, bleh, 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 thrusters uh, for forward and reverse and the ship actually has a very very unique design to it as it is also uh, largely based off of you know a frigate with its own munitions I mean it's got its own I, I have yet to really try for the Oh yeah, and for how heavy the ship is, it takes four modded uh, gyroscopes, and these are the times two ultra uh, gyroscopes. And there are two more, so total of six gyroscopes that actually work very well for me because of how weaponized this is and it's not meant to fire on friendlies so I normally kinda like to leave it at that. What did I oh I didn't put anything for that. That's amazing. Uh oh well there we go. I guess I need to set that one too. All right, well, go back to close. I actually like the sound these doors make. Air in here is really good, and I don't take off my helmet half the time anyways, just for that fun precaution. And there we go, out into space. But that, yeah, that is the, uh, construction behind my my US-3 uh, Merseco frigate and please like subscribe and I will see you guys all later hopefully have a good one